Where focus you, off too. Where you going? Huh? Where you going? I don't know, but the focus is off bad. <sighs> <Okay. laughs> yeah, I know. Mm. Hey, you got Facebook Live? You got Facebook? Uh -uh. Can you pick this up? Uh -uh. See, it's on broadcast. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I thought they was ready to go. They got me going live and they ain't ready. <sighs> Why didn't they work right for me this morning? I didn't wait for you. That's slow. Why I thought you was going to make me see it. Oh, shit. Nine, there you go. Yeah. Okay, we live. Yes, you on the top of Okay, we live. Okay, we live. Okay, we live. Just to see you, to 
It has to be something because right here, you see how we got all these audio yeah. sets? We shouldn't have that many. Oh, okay. So, That's I what I'm so I don't know where all these audio sets keep coming uh -huh. from. So I'm not sticking my phone. I've been connected to my computer. Uh huh. So that might have something to do with too. But it's no, it's like duplication. That's what I'm saying. It's weird. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, real. That might be what's best only thing I can think of. And that it's probably not picking up the right.
gotta be where you are. Wanna be where you are. Gotta be where you are. Hallelujah. I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are Somehow, Jesus, some way, Lord I gotta be where you are Oh, God, I wanna be where you are No matter what it takes, God I wanna be where you are I gotta be where you are. Kneeling at your feet, God, I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. Let my tears wash your feet, God, I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. Rest on the Jesus, I want to be where you are. I got to be where you are. Yes, yeah, so. Yes, Lord. Someone tell them yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We say yes to you. Yes to you, Lord. Want to be where you are. Got to be where you are. Our gracious Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Would you stand? Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, our God. Oh, Father, my God, I want to be where you are. Father, in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, we come to you, Lord. We, we know that you're here. You're omnipresent. You're everywhere at the same time. We know you're here, but Lord, today we ask you, Lord, to let your presence be manifested in the midst of your people, oh God. Let your glory fill the room. Hallelujah. Let your spirit visit us, oh God, the needs that we have in your house, oh Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We're giving you the praise, the glory, and the honor today. We thank you, Jesus, for this way of life, oh, God. We thank you that we just don't know you from the outside, looking in. But, but you've become a part of our life. you become in us, oh, God. Oh, we don't understand the mysteries of your kingdom, the mystery of your spirit fully, Lord. It's just too high for us. We don't understand, but we thank you and we receive, hallelujah, your word, oh God. We receive you in our hearts. We receive you, Lord Jesus, and understand, glory to God, that you are our guide. You are our comforter, glory to God. You are our provider. You are our helper. You are our teacher. Everything we need, Lord, we find it in you. Oh God, we praise you for your word. When you tell us you've given us all things, Lord, that pertaineth unto this life and unto godliness. We thank you, Lord, for it. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for our security. And eternally, we are secure in you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for being there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for making a way. Thank you, Jesus, for the doors that you've opened in our life. 
Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the deliverance. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the little thing. Just the air we breathe in today. We're thanking you, Lord. We're giving you the praise. We're giving you the honor. We're giving you the glory, oh God. Our very being is because of you and because of your grace, your mercy, your tender care. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, Lord. We praise you. We lift up our hands to you, Lord. We lift up our hands and give you praise. We give you praise, oh God. We want to praise you and thank you and give you the honor, oh Lord. Oh God, please, please, Lord, don't let there be a grumbling spirit. Hallelujah in your house, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, put the complaining aside in our hearts. Help us, Lord, show us something. Show us something. Show us something that you've done. Hallelujah. Show us something in our lives, oh God, that you've done. Let us think of the goodness of Jesus and all, and all, and all, and all, and all. Hallelujah to God, all you've done for us. That we can say hallelujah. 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 That we can have a praise on our tongue. Hallelujah. Praise on our lips. Hallelujah. Praise in our mouth. And we can say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for who you are. We give you the glory, oh God. We give you the glory, Lord. We give you the glory, Jesus. Hold us close. Hold us close. Hold us close. Hold me close, Lord. I need you. I need you. I need you to hold me close. Don't let us fail you. Help us to walk humbly before you, before your people. Help us, Lord, as a church to do the things that's right, things that's pleasing in your sight. Oh, God, that we don't seek to please ourselves, but to please you. In other words, Lord, today we ask that your will be done. Let your will be done. Let your will be done in your church. In Jesus' name we pray this prayer. To the glory of God our Father. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I say, Oh, Lord, we worship you. We praise you. Thank you, Jesus. For your glory, for your glory, for your glory. <laughs> for your glory, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our scripture this morning will be cussing. Our scripture will be coming from Psalms 121. Praise God. Praise God. And it reads as such. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not spite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth 
and even forevermore. Thank God for his word. Come on, saints, let's just keep that atmosphere going. Hallelujah. He's here. Hallelujah. He's here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's here. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your presence, God. We're not worthy, God, but we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and help us lift it up together God we this is our love song to Jesus come on and sing it with us God hallelujah I lift my hands in total adoration unto you come on you reign upon you the throne on the throne for you are God for you are God in God be because alone, of you, my cloud be because of alone. you, my cloud. Come on, I know you might be going through something, but we're gonna gone. speak in life into that situation. I can, I can see to you. This song, Lord, I just want to I say, just want to say that, that I love you more than anything. You more than anything. Come on, even if you're going through something right now, we're going to keep singing anyway. I live, I live my, hands my hands in total, in total adoration. adoration. Thank you, Jesus. You reign on the throne. For you are God. For you are God. And God, God, God alone. Because of you, because of you my clouds are gone. I can sing to I you. I can sing to you this song. I just want to. Say, I just want to say that I love you love more, you more than, than it is. And we're gonna take it to the next part. Now put your arms around yourself and say, "Love." Love me in Thank your Jesus. arms. You were my shelter. You were my shelter from the storm. From the storm. When I didn't have anywhere else to go, when all my when friends, all were, gone, my friends were, gone, were gone, you were right there. All you alone. were right there all alone. alone. I've never known. I've never known, known the love like this, like this because I'm so Love me in your arms. You were my shelter. You were my shelter from the storm. When all my friends were gone, nobody but you, Jesus. You were right there. You were right there all alone. I've never known. I've never known. I've never known. Hallelujah. Like this before. Oh, 
just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for starting me on my way. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Can I say it again? Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for being so good to me. Thank you. You, Lord, you've been better to me than I've been to myself. Thank you. Oh, I just want to say, I just want to thank you, Lord. Come on, y'all say it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say, thank you, Lord. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you to the depths of my soul. I just want, I just want to thank you. You've been good. Come on, somebody. You've been good. You've been good. Somebody ought to tell him. Thank you for being good to me. You've been good, You've been so good. And I just want to say, I just want, I just want to say, 
I just want to say, I just want to say, you, Lord. Come on, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Say it again. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love Lord, we love you. 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 We thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Lord, 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 we thank you. You're so worthy. Come on, say. You're so worthy. 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 Jesus, Lord, you're Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Good morning and praise the Lord to all. My heart is in.
Yeah, they told me I couldn't build on my property because turtles lay eggs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the truth, y'all. Praise God, we went through some things. Praise God, but you know what? God will make a way. Amen, but God, we thank God for his goodness and we thank him for his mercy. First, we honor him. Amen, we thank God for his presence. Can, can you feel his presence in the house? Amen. Praise God. Amen. We honor our pastor in his absence. He sent his regards, praise God. And we, we honor the man of the hour, speaker. Praise the Lord. This is you know, the Homer Brown and his lovely wife. Amen. Robin. Where you at, Robin? Oh, there you go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God for you all. And thank God for our guests, all of our guests being here. Praise the Lord. We, we just. We love to, love to have the opportunity to minister, amen, to you here at Refuge. God is good to us. Even in these difficult times, God is still good. Isn't he good to us? Hallelujah. Praise God. And amen. We, we don't like to call names, but I got to call Deacon Francis. Thank God for you. He went through some things. Amen. Thank God to have our deacon with us today. Praise the Lord. So that... Uh, Sister Gert, Mother Gert, praise God, she already told us about our sacrifice, sacrificial Thanksgiving offering, and certainly we want to, we want to emphasize it. Please, yes, work towards it. Praise God. Do something. Amen. But the Lord blesses as he blesses our effort. Put forth the best effort that you can. I mean, you know, if you give God your best, I believe I believe you can expect the best from God. Amen. I believe I believe that. Really, I believe that in my heart. And God, God won't let you beat them out. Praise God. I know people use that for offerings and try to misuse it, but no matter what, who says it? The thief, the robber, the criminal, the crook, it's still a fight. You can't be God given. You can't beat them given, y'all. I said you can't be God given. Is there an amen in the house? Hallelujah to God. So yes, please remember, please remember and do your best. Amen. And concerning uh, our outreach service, we, we took the week off last week to, uh, to be with our families and to celebrate Thanksgiving with our families. And so we back on the job. It's time to get it. Amen. Maybe, maybe we need to make some double time, make up for last week. I don't know, but please, we're looking to have our outreach service again on this Friday night. And for a note, now we're going to be starting outreach service at 5.30 instead of 5. 5.30, 5.30. Praise the Lord. That'll give this Gelder a little more time to get there. He won't have to rush through that traffic. I have to do like the Flintstones and <laughs> pick up his car and go around. <laughs> so so we don't want that. <laughs> Might get a ticket. <laughs> Amen. So we do. We look to see you. Please come. The Lord is blessing our effort. So the outreach service start at 5 30 in the dining room. It will still be opening at four o'clock to serve. Praise God, fish dinner. So this is what we are doing. Amen. God is blessing us. We're, we're getting moving. It's, the work is the work is is out there, and the work is great. Praise God. And God has given us not just the preaching; He's given His church the commission to go out. It's our purpose to win souls for the kingdom of God. And so this is our efforts that we're doing right now as a church and so please join in okay okay all right all right amen the lord tells us to bring our tithe and offerings to the storehouse and that it'll be food in his house and said prove me and see that i won't open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room to receive it's offering time okay offering time. Praise the Lord. So we ask you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, take your offering and your good offering, the best you can do. Praise the Lord. Take it in. I, 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 I'm stuck on that for a little while. 
put it in your right hand. Hallelujah. Because we know God don't want what's left. He knows the first fruit of our increase. Amen. He wants the first fruit. Take care of him first. Praise God. Amen. Sometimes you have to do it. But all the time you should do it. Take care of God first. So take this offering. Thank God for those that are listening online and the contributions that you're making to this ministry. We thank God for you. Thank God for my brother. He's still on the ball. Amen. He, he's blessing us and I thank God for him. But you just don't know what the Lord has done. See, when God do something for you, you ought to just be thankful and you ought to show your gratitude. I can't, for the life of me, I can't understand how God can bring us through these things and and, and, and keep us secure and deliver us from these hurt, harm, and dangers that we don't even see. And we don't give him thanks. You ought to just lift your hands, praise God, and give God some praise. Stand with your offering. Stand with your offering. I just want to say thank you, Lord. Oh, almost, almost, almost. <laughs> Almost, I got a praise in my heart. I just want to say thank you, Lord. I just want to say thank you, Lord. And I, I, I want to say, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we praise you and we thank you. We give it the glory. Seem like, Lord, you just given us to today this service, a spirit of praise and a spirit of thanksgiving glory to God we don't know what you're going to do and how you're going to do it but we know we lift you up and praise your name good things happen to us and Lord as we're standing here today praising you giving you the glory we ask you Lord this offering that we're bringing to you our tithe and our offerings we ask your blessings upon this offering. We ask you to consecrate it to dedicate this offering. Bless your people. Bless the house. Bless the house, Lord. Bless the house. Glory to God. Bless your sanctuary. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. To the glory of God our Father. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Deacons will serve you, and the praise team will bless us again. My Savior, when storms are raging, he's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus, he loves me. Oh, I love Jesus. He's my savior when storms are raging. He's my shelter. There he leads me. I will follow. I love Jesus. He loves me. Oh, I love Jesus. He's my savior when storms are raging. He's my shelter. Where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus. He loves me. Oh, I love the Lord. I love the Lord, and I won't take it back. I love the Lord, and I won't take it back. I love the Lord, and I won't take it back. He has been so good to me. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. He has been so good to me. He's been so good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. Very good, so good, so good, he has been so good to me. He's been so good. 
Jesus. Now it's come time for the word of God. Amen. And we're so grateful to the Lord for praise the Lord for the Browns being with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We're looking forward to hearing the word of God. But before the man of God come, this the Homer Brown, before he come, praise the Lord. Sister Katrina Coleman, she's going to bless us. The next voice you hear for being of the speak of the hour, this elder, Homer Brown. Let us say amen. 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 For God could have chosen to name Fallen man could go his way and die in his sins. Hallelujah. But God in his compassion says, Hallelujah. I'll pay. Redemption. Could have paid the debt, hallelujah. Then God could have so, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. Anybody got your weapon with you? Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him some praise. Come on, let's give him some praise. Come on, let's give him some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, is he worthy? Is he worthy? He's worthy of your praise. Hallelujah. 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 Anybody love the Lord in the house tonight, today? We glorify him. We magnify him. Lord, you're good to us. We thank you for this opportunity, Lord. We thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for the mighty, wonderful things that you've done among your people. You've shown yourself to be strong, to be mighty, to be loving, to be merciful, to be good, to be a healer, to be a deliverer, to be a way maker, to be a provider. God, you've been good. Hallelujah. Thank you that you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your life and your sacrifice and for sitting on the right hand of the Father, making intercessions for us. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for the healing in the blood. Thank you for the miracles in the blood. Thank us for covering us in the blood. Thanks for washing away our sins in the blood. Hallelujah. For what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. For in the last days, you promised to pour it out upon all of us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for putting your spirit in us. Spirit that searches the deep things of God and reveal it to us. The spirit that raised Jesus up from the dead and that has a promise attached to it that if it raised him up, it's going to raise us up too. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you today. We honor our apostle and our pastor, Dr. Gentle L. Groover, in his absence. I was thinking he was going to show up. He said, I might if I can, but you ought to know that he wanted to be here. It is his desire, it's in his mind and his heart and spirit to be with you. Uh, I thank God for him. What a man. What a man. I first didn't kind of understand that after Apostle Ross died and I, I was listening to folk. Folk were saying all kinds of stuff. And being young in the gospel, I didn't know. I was trying to figure it all out because I was suffering loss and grief. Because my bishop, my apostle, my pastor, my guide had was gone. I was trying to figure out who can we turn to because I asked Apostle Ross, I said, what's going to happen to, to us after you're gone? And he said, the Lord always got a man. <laughs> that sound like Apostle Ross. <laughs> so I couldn't see the man because it was too many people standing in the way. And so I was listening to folk. When you listen to folk, they mess you up. And I had gotten into a deep depression where I was about to leave the church, leave everything. I didn't just didn't know who can I run to because can't nobody do me like Jesus. And the Lord revealed to me through a message, the powers that be, be of God. And if you fight the powers that be, you're actually fighting God. And he revealed to me that Apostle Groover was the man. And he said, you get with him and you help him and you support him and do all that you can for him. And that's what I've tried to do these years. And that's one of the reasons I'm here today, not for my own will or purpose. 
never try to look out for my own thing. But I, I live like my salvation is dependent on it. I, I'm so fearful and I reverence God so much that I don't want to make a mistake. And not only do I don't want to make a mistake, but I don't want to lead nobody wrong. So I'm careful with this thing. I don't know how people would like to jump up here because this is a deadly place. It's a deadly place. So I need thee, oh Lord. Yeah, every hour, every minute, every second. It, it ain't about us, it's about him. Yeah, so we have to kind of be careful of this new age thing where it's all about us and not about him we can't make it without him will you just minister to somebody on your road just to let them know we can't make it without him. I, 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 I thought I couldn't make it without Apostle Ross I just like Lord I, I, that's 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 my pastor. I can't, I can't make it. Nobody is going to be like him. He, he, he took me on his wings and, and, and I was special. I didn't know everybody was special. But <laughs> <laughs> he just had a way of making you feel like you was the specialist. I can't make it without him. But through the years, the Lord has let me know, you can't make it without me. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. I wish I had somebody who had that understanding that having obtained help from the Lord. <laughs> yeah, I give honor to uh, District Elder Jeffrey Davis. What a great man who has filled in, give him a hand, his, his companion. To Lady Robin Brown, I don't want to insert her in front of the ministers of the gospel, but thank God for her. I don't know if I was her, I'd have been left me, but I don't know. <laughs> thank God for our preachers and Pastors. See all the Welch. God bless you, sir. I've seen him. All the ministers of the gospel, all the deacons, the chairman of the deacons, their wives, also the missionaries, mothers, saints, choir members, children, visitors. I think I got everybody. Everybody in their respective places. God bless you tonight today have a scripture today Matthew the 26th chapter Matthew the 26th chapter Matthew the 26th chapter I wasn't intending on ministering today and when I'm don't minister I, I eat and what I mean by eating, I'm not talking about physical food. I know y'all looking at my stomach, but I'm talking about that's when I meditate. I eat the word and I meditate and I meditate and meditate. Not to preach, but to learn. Don't study to preach. Study to learn. Because I want to know. Hallelujah. And so in that meditation... I was somewhere else, but I know that it wasn't done yet. So I come to the 26th chapter in the 36th verse of the book of St. Matthew. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane. Said unto his disciples, sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. 
I want to move back to the 31st verse. I want to move back to the 31st verse. Then said Peter unto them, all ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto you that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet I will not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Demon come at Jesus. Jesus with them to a place called Gethsemane and said unto the disciples, sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, oh, father, oh, my father, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thy will. He coming unto his disciples and find them, them asleep and said unto them, Peter, what could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray. That you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing. But the flesh is weak. He went again the second time and prayed and said, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me except I drink it. Thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. I want to present a thought to you today, going through with Jesus. Going through with Jesus. Not going through by myself, but going through with Jesus. I think it's important for us to, as we look at this scripture, there was so many others that I was looking at, but there's one that fascinates me. Sometimes I read scriptures and they fascinate me. And one was Hebrews, the 12th chapter. It says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of God. Despising the shame. Yeah, it's a shame of some of the stuff we have to go through. We in our minds and people in their minds really don't like to feel less than are picked on, left out, mistreated. We, we, don't, we don't like those kind of things. We don't like those kind of ways. And so often we try to avoid getting into any type of situation that's going to make us feel less than. We try to get the stay away as, as far as way as we can from people who would make us feel insignificant or small. But I'm so glad that when we're dealing with Jesus, that Jesus shows us that this truly is the way. Yeah, it's the way. It is the way because the world pumps itself up. And it makes folks think that if you don't have this, if you don't live like this, if you don't drive this, 
if you don't stay over here, then something is wrong with you. You are less than. And the suffering part of it that we go to, because sometimes uh, I, I know I have been preaching on the suffering part, but we don't like to talk about that part too much. But I think that if we can perfect the suffering part, mm, God, I praise you right there. Because if you can learn how to go through with Jesus, what can the devil do to you? <laughs> Lord, I wish I had some help in the house here. Hallelujah. When you, when you learn how to let him do what he want to do, let him say what he want to say, let him act like he want to act, let him go and do whatever he want to do and you still hold on to God's mm. uh, I think there's some folks out there still holding on <laughs> anybody still holding on <laughs> no matter what he's done to you and, and what he said about you and, Sometimes the stuff that we want to get out of is where the blessing is. It's in the stuff. God, I wish I had somebody to help you. <laughs> it's in the thing. It's in the pain. Yeah. The, the Bible lacks it to something I would never understand. He said it's like a woman with child. Say it brings forth sorrow, pain, but after the baby comes, joy comes, hallelujah. But it can't be any baby without the pain, <laughs> without the problem. God, I praise you. I'm talking to somebody now because you got a problem, you in the problem, but you don't understand that joy is coming. I wish I had somebody to talk to. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, who for the joy that was set before him. Can you imagine when you can see the problem, the issue that is about to happen? <laughs> I had a, one of my neighbors, she said, if I, she's probably about 80 something. She said, if I'd have known that it was going to be like this. That I was going to have these issues and have these pains and have this stuff and have these things. She said, I don't know. She talked like she would have gave up. I think that's why sometimes God don't reveal everything. But he'll show you a little something. God, I praise you. Hallelujah. And if he show you something, he's trying to tell you, I got it before you get to it. Hallelujah. I've already taken care of it. I've already brought you out of it. I'm just going to show you a little piece just to let you know I'm in control. Ooh, somebody ought to praise him right there. How y'all about to see Can you imagine Jesus healing, delivering, Saving, but understanding there's a cross. In order to save these folk, I'm going to have to go through something. God, I wish I had some help here because we, we want sinners to be saved, but in order for them to be saved, we got to go through some stuff. We don't want to go through. We try to avoid it as much as possible. But Jesus said, let me show you because I know how I know you. And I know how you're going to act. So watch me go through. Come on, y'all. And go with me. And he went down and prayed. Father, if it be possible. He was showing you how we try to pray out of some stuff. But can I tell you, there's some things you don't want to pray out of. You just want to tell him, Lord, take me through. 
Lord, fill me up. Lord, let me go. I wish I had the right place. Hallelujah. Because you can't move it. Paul said, I sought the Lord three times. I know I got relationship with him. And even Jesus himself said, when, he, when I pray, I know he hear me. He hear you. God, I praise you. Hallelujah. That's a, that's a blessing right there. He hear your prayer. But I know what's best for you. You got to go do. Paul said, I sought him three times to move this thing. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, uh-uh. Now grace is for, sufficient for you. What you're talking about, I put some grace in there. So whatever comes upon you, whatever is messing with you, whatever issue you got, you got grace inside of it. You got grace. You got, you got grace. You got, you got grace. That's why you still got breath in your body. That's why you still got clapping in your hand. That's why you still got a hallelujah. Because the God that loves you has given you grace. I wish I had some church folk. <laughs> I can't move it. Prayer won't move it. But the God I serve, he's in it with us. He said, y'all come. Come and pray with me. Come, come, come watch with me. Come, come, come. Sometime. You, 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 by your, you feel lonely in your thing. You feel lonely because you're talking to folk, but they can't understand. I was sitting at the house on a Saturday, had all the kids at the house, had the grandbabies. Such a wonderful time. And all of a sudden, Elder, that thing got on me, that, 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 that feeling. My heart stopped beating. My whole body was shaking. My heart was beating so bad. And I said, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I said, oh. And I sat down. And, and Sister Robin, she was concerned. She was asking me some crazy question here. I think I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm about to get out of here. And she's talking about, you want some water? <laughs> you want a blanket or something? Kids, look at me, Daddy. You all right? And I'm thinking in my mind, none of these folk understand what's going on. I feel like I'm about to get out of here, and they don't even understand. Sometimes it's so lonely to be in your situation. I wish I had some real folk to talk to. Nobody else can understand. Nobody can feel it. No matter how much they love you, Jesus was alone. I can't get nobody to pray with me. And if they pray, they won't pray the right prayer. <laughs> oh God, I'm preaching now. Hallelujah. But I come to tell you today, you're never alone. Grace is in there. God is in there. Jesus is in there. Your help is in there. Somebody ought to give your help some, some praise. Somebody ought to give your help some glory. Don't give Brown no glory. Give your help some glory. It's just natural to, to want to get out. It's so natural to want to back up. It's so natural to want to quit and throw in the tower. But if you do that, then all you're going to have, you're going to leave a testimony. I quit. I stopped. I gave up. And then you can't say anything about how good God is. But if you stay in, if you're giving praise in it, if you believe him in it, if you go through with him, you'll have a testimony. God brought I wish I had somebody. I know I got somebody in the house got a testimony. Did the Lord bring you out? Is the Lord not keeping you? Is the Lord not making a way for you? Do you still have your right mind? Can you still clap?
Come on, give him praise. <laughs> Come on, let's lift him up. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. How can you, how can you bear it? You, you don't understand. How can you bear it? I, I, I can't imagine this girl. I can't imagine him looking to all that spit and blood being talked about and mistreated. I, I can't imagine him looking and seeing all the pain, I can see him and feel him in prayer, just like he can feel you in prayer. Lord, move it. Lord, change it. Lord, help me. Lord, turn it around. Lord, please, Lord, please, Lord, please, Lord. And you're begging for the Lord to do something, but the Lord is saying, I got you. Don't you know I revealed it to you? Don't you know I'm going to take you through this? You're going to know something about me when you come out on the other side. But I'm in it with you, and I got you. Hallelujah. And all you got to do is understand you just got to go through with me. Go through with me. I got you. Go through with me. I got your hand. Go through with me. I'm leading you. I'm guiding you. I got you. No weapon form. It's going to be able to prosper. I'm bringing you out. I'm bringing you through. Come on. Don't fight me. Come on. Come on and shout. Come on and dance. Come on and open your mouth. Come on and glorify me. I'm bringing you out. Oh, God, I'm bringing you out. I know he's bringing me out. I know he's bringing me out. That's got to be your testimony. Anybody know the Lord is bringing you? I wish I had somebody that would just take some faith and say, I know I'm coming out. I know he's bringing me out. I know. We're going we're gonna to have to stand up in this thing. We can't act like wimps. Can't act like nobody who don't have no hope. Can't act like nobody who don't have God on their side. We got the Lord with us. And if the Lord be for us, who can be against us? If it had not been for the Lord that's on our side, is there anybody in the house that got the Lord with them? I, I, I try to use the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost said that, that the, the Bible says the Holy Ghost will take the things, he searched the deep things of God and then Jesus said he'll take a mind and he'll show it unto you so sometimes it'll come in my spirit the coming out part hmm. and so I have a choice then I can sit here and be miserable. I can go ahead and shout for the coming out part. God, I wish I had some help here. Woo, God, I praise you. Hallelujah. I can go ahead and rejoice for what the Holy Ghost showed me. It showed me I was coming in and it showed me I was coming out. And if it's showing me everything, I got to give it praise. Not gonna move everything. Not gonna change everything. Not gonna just move to your beckoning and call. Don't you know what he said? I'm not gonna put on you more than you can bear. But whatever temptation, huh, I'm gonna provide a way for escape. Huh? In other words, you're coming out of this. Huh? And the reason that it's on you is because I know you can bear it. Hallelujah. You don't know you can bear it yet, but I know you can bear it. That's why I gave it to you. And so what I want you to do is stop complaining and tell this thing you might have got me for a little while. But I'm coming out.
Some, sometimes it seems like we make our time longer. Longer because the Lord is trying to pull you through. And you don't know what's going on. Even though he has revealed it to you. Jesus already knew that there was going to be joy after this. He looked at the joy and the Bible tells us to look to Jesus. Pay attention to him. Don't pay attention to the man or to the woman or to the people. Pay attention to him who endured such contradictions of sinners yet without sin. Consider that lest you become weary and faint in your own minds. You know how you is. <sighs> I'm so done with this. I'm so tired. No folk getting on my nerves. Woo! Got the wrong one now. This your last time. Talking all that stuff. Keeping yourself locked up in that. Hallelujah. But somehow, some way, the Lord's going to make a way. Somehow, some way, I'm getting out of this. Somehow. Jesus came to a point. He said, you know what? It ain't about me. Can I take, I, I got to go there. I know when I'm in myself. When I'm in myself, I'm not. I don't want nobody talking about me. I don't know why people don't like me. You all up in self. It don't matter if you don't like me. It don't even matter that you talk about me. Because I know a song they used to sing. Talk about me. Much as you please. The more you talk. <laughs> I wish I had some sanctified folks. I'm going to. Because as long as I die, a seat in the kingdom, well, that's all right. God, I got some church folks in the house. Hallelujah. We, we've gotten into self. And the Bible said if anybody saved their life, they're going to lose it. And that's how ministry has become. That's how church has become. It's about our ministry and our stuff and our preaching and our singing and our worship and what we bring. And the church better be glad we are. My tithes, my offering, my stuff. It's all about us. But if you want Jesus to come in, you're going to have to step back and let him come on in. Because he said, I stand at the door and knock. I think a lot of times we don't understand church history that the seventh church was the church at Laodicea. It was their church. And they said, we are rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And he said, you are poor, wretched, miserable. That's the last day church. That's the last day church. But Jesus said, I'm standing at the door. Why they won't let him in? Because it's all about them. And if Jesus come in, it's got to be his will and not our will. <laughs> Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. If Jesus come in, then we got to lift them up. Can't lift the preacher up. Can't lift the pastor up. Can't lift the choir up. But if anybody going to be lifted up, we got to lift Jesus up. Lift my Savior up until he speaks from eternity. It's all about him. That's why we came today. We came to clap our hands. We came to glorify him. We come to magnify you. Anybody came to worship God, uh, would you just worship the Lord with me right now? Hallelujah. Oh, God. I get, I'm, I'm, I'm going to testify and I'm out of here. I, I, I fall into that trap. Make it about me. Oh man, my tie crooked. Oh Lord. Ooh, boy, my pants don't fit right. Oh. Oh. Because I'm concerned about what people going to say. We were telling them Friday night when we were speaking to the streets. Hallelujah. You come like you are. Don't worry about church folk. If you ain't got nothing but hot pants, bring your hot self in. Hallelujah. You ain't come to see them anyway. <laughs> You come to see Jesus, and Jesus is in the house. We're going to have folk come in that ain't going to look like us. I didn't look like y'all when I came in. Never had a suit in my life. Never had no decent stuff. Just came in to see Jesus. Because I was tired of what I had. I was tired of the dope and stuff. And I came in to see Jesus. And as long as I sat in the back, I had to worry about what all these folks in the front were going to say. So I got bold enough to come on up to the front so I didn't have to look at nobody. Hear nothing. Hallelujah. Here I am, Bishop Ross. Show me your Jesus. Here I am, Bishop Ross. Show me the way to salvation. And they told me, say, call on Jesus. Don't call on Bishop Ross. Don't call on the deacons. Don't call on the ministers. If they're going to get free, call on Jesus. Until we stop making it about us. Your ministry don't compare compared to his. That's what makes me nervous. And I'm closing. I'm sorry. I'm closing. It makes me nervous when, when folk try to, when, when you almost, folk try to lift you up, you know. I'm scared of that because all I got is Jesus. And I, I don't understand his ways disregarded because he don't always take me through the good stuff. Well, it ain't good to me. But he's always taking you to the good stuff. If, if, if he got you in pain right now, that's good stuff. Mm, God, I praise you. I wish I had some help here. If he got you broke right now, stuff going wrong, that's good stuff. Because you're going to find out that the God you serve, he's able. Hallelujah. I said he's able, y'all. Come on, let us stand in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody love the Lord? Anybody here loves mine? Anybody? I just saw Deacon McGee. That's what I, the Lord. I want to know. I wanna know. You're going to have more anointing when you stop trying to avoid what the Lord allowed you to go through. When you accept the will of God for whatever God wants to do, you're gonna have more anointing. And the Lord is going to trust you more. 
and the Lord is going to attach souls to your life. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you what I've been through since I've been saved. Can't tell you what I'm going through now. But I trust him. Just point at somebody and say, do you trust him? Do you trust him? Talk like you trust him. Act like you trust him. Praise him like you trust him. I'm closing. There's another song. They said, take me through, Lord. I want to go through. Yeah, we stopped singing songs like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Take me through. Take me through. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for the house right now as we close it out. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. What a powerful God you are. What a wonderful God you are. Lord, you love us. And Lord, there's somebody who's in right now. Reveal yourself to them, Lord God. Speak to their hearts and their minds, soul and spirit. They didn't just walk in this, but you revealed it to them through dreams and vision and your word. Give them strength now, Lord God. To stand in you and having all to do the stand. To stand there for you. Go forward and not turn back. Hallelujah. Push us on, Lord. Press us through, Lord God. We'll glorify you. We'll magnify you, Lord. Sinners be converted to your Lord. Give us back the joy of our my excitement. Give me back that praise, Lord God, that every time I open my mouth and think about it, Father, you show up. Bless your people now, Lord God, and thou us that in time anointing. Bless us as only you can. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Might be somebody in the house who's not saved. We made a mistake last time and we were told that we wouldn't, well, we knew that we weren't supposed to be laying hands on everybody. And I like to be obedient. And uh, it kind of went and then we didn't stop it, but 